Are too many rules stifling creativity? We're not giving children the ability to think creatively, solve problems, and prevent a negative outcome happening. Setting too many rules and regulations can actually stifle a child's creativity, uh, but also their problem-solving skills. When there are too many rules, it can be overwhelming and actually prevent a child from developing their own creative solutions. To provide a solution to preventing that from happening, there are a few different things that we can do. Welcome back to another Warrior Academy podcast episode. Today, I'm going to be talking about rules and creativity and answering the question um, of, are too many rules stifling creativity or are my strict rules with my child ruining their creativity? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, so when you listen to this podcast episode, send us your thoughts. Go onto YouTube and reply in the comments and I'll get back to you. So... The concept here is that setting too many rules and regulations can actually stifle a child's creativity, uh, but also their problem-solving skills. So we're not giving children the ability to, to think creatively in the moment, solve problems, and, and prevent a negative outcome happening. So when parents set too many rules and regulations, it can limit a child's ability to kind of innovate and think um, innovatively you know, and develop their problem-solving skills. And essentially, while rules are obviously very, very important, the most important thing is we keep our children safe. Um, and that's, that's something every parent needs to do. But when there are too many rules, and there often are, it can be overwhelming and actually prevent a child from developing their own creative solutions. Uh, we literally say to a child, here's how you play the game, here are the rules, and here's the outcome. So there's less creativity involved when it comes to that. And often, you know, when you look at some of the most successful people in life, it's because they've taken the rules, and I'm not saying breaking moral rules or legal rules, which are important, but they've broken the mold, right? They've challenged the status quo. And I think that one of the big challenges we've got with the educational system is children are not taught to do that, right? If you look at the educational system, primarily for many, many years, it was designed to create workers within the economy who could follow set thing and build products and services and who were reliable and who could help the economy grow by doing that. And it's kind of this industrial age um, concept. And so I think now more than ever, schools are trying to push more creativity, but it's very hard to standardize that, right? Because ultimately we need to have a system which has a blanket approach to educating all children so that we are then in this position where we can, you know, a child go, who has gone through school has the right level of education to, to go and do whatever it is they need to do in life. And we know that as a, as a country, as a society, we're able to provide a standardized educational system. That's really difficult when it comes to developing creativity and creative problem solving skills. So how does a school balance it? That is an episode, another episode. Maybe I'll ask a, um, a few of the head teachers in Dubai to, to join me and to answer some of those challenging questions and see what their approach is. Um, but essentially, the important thing here is, are rules and regulations, or too many rules and regulations, damaging the ability for children to, to think creatively and come up with their own um, innovative solutions? So I think to provide a solution to preventing that from happening, there are, there are a few different things that we can do. Uh, the first thing I would say is, discuss the purpose of each rule with your child and explain why it's important. You can then actually ask the child if you, know, you think that's a, a good rule, but we'll get to that. That's actually one of the second points, I think. Um, but ultimately, if you sit down with a child and you discuss why those rules are in place, they then may be more likely to stick to them because they could agree with them. Maybe they'll challenge them. Um, you know, if you've got a rule that uh, dinner must be eaten at the table, um, and you explain that it's important, you explain why it's important for everyone to sit together as a family every single day and talk about their day, your child be, will be more likely to stick to it, understand it, and feel more included in the decision-making of that rule. Just a quick shout out to the guys at Shield who manage this podcast, come up with the strategy behind the podcast, help me schedule interviews as well as do all of the editing and the producing of the podcast. Without them, we wouldn't be able to produce this podcast. If you would like to create your own podcast, I can't recommend the Shield team enough. They have done well over 100 episodes for me over the last few years, and I've been so pleased with the results. So have a look in the description of this video or the podcast episode, and you'll see how to get in touch with them yourself. Uh, the next thing is, as I mentioned a second ago, to give your child the opportunity to come up with their own ideas and solutions to different problems. So if you imagine 
that rule we just talked about, the sitting down at the table, uh, maybe your child disagrees with that rule. Well, it'd be interesting for you as a parent to understand why. Just so that there's an element there where they are coming up with a creative alternative solution or alternative rule so that you can then counter it with, well, actually, this is why, you know, this is why we do this. And having a counter with that creates an open dialogue, which fosters creativity, I believe. Um, but another example would be if there's a disagreement between siblings and you ask them to come up with their own solution uh, to the problem instead of imposing a situation yourself. Now, obviously, it doesn't work with very young siblings, but if you've got preteens, uh, there's a disagreement. Uh, you could sit them both down and you could say, look, let's come up with a creative solution here. You both want to use the iPad. There's only one iPad. Um, it's 10 minutes before you have to go to bed. Um, and the reality is, you know, you both want to do different things on it. So what's the solution there? Now, the most logical solution is they would have five minutes each uh, or one today and one tomorrow. And they maybe they come up with a plan, which makes it fair. But because they have creatively come up with a solution, they are more likely to stick to it. And also you're going to start to foster this creative solu solution um, making ability, which will serve them in later life. The next thing I would say is let your child know that it's okay to make mistakes and encourage them to learn from them. So as an example, if your child is making a mistake in school, uh, talk to them about the importance of learning from mistakes and not giving up. And when it comes to, to rule making or you know, achieving goals and, and having to set rules for that, you know, we are going to, to make mistakes. Children are going to make mistakes in life. And I think that, um, I think that's the reality of that. So yeah, I'd love to, love to know your thoughts on that. When it comes to answering the question, um, are too many rules stifling creativity? What are your thoughts? How do you as a parent find the balance between being strict and keeping your children safe and developing their behavior and conduct while also encouraging creativity? You don't want to go too far one side, otherwise it's, it's, it's going to be like the Wild West and your children have free reigns, do whatever they want. And then the other side of that is that things are so strict that there's no gray area, there's no creativity for your child to explore, to make mistakes, uh, to grow and learn, and therefore they don't have that creativity element. So how do you as a parent um, find the balance what do you do at home? Can you give us some examples that other parents could benefit from that you do at home that, that helps, you, helps you as parents, but also helps your child find that balance between rules and creativity? If you've enjoyed this podcast episode, let me know. Remember to uh, subscribe in, the, in, the, uh, in YouTube, but also on iTunes and Spotify so you don't miss another episode. And I'll see you at the next one. Bye now.